वेलकम टू इनर्ट केमिस्ट्री इन टूडेज लेक्चर वी विल अंडर अबाउट द अमाइनो एसिड पोल वी विल सी दैट वट इज अमाइनो एसिड पोल हो मच इज अमाइनो एसिड पोल एंड हाउ इट इज मेंटेन एंड वी विल ऑल्सो डिस्कस अ शॉर्ट क्वेश्चन from past paper of pu that is discuss briefly the source and fates of amino acid pool so let's begin first of all we will see the definition of amino acid pool the amino acid pool is defined as it is the total amount of amino acids available in the blood at any given time the second is how much is the amino acid pool the answer is that in a normal adult its value is about 100 grams means that 100 grams of amino acid molecules are available in the blood as free amino acids that can be utilized for various metabolic processes how this amino acid pool is maintained remember that the body's amino acid pool is always in a dynamic state the body's amino acid pool is always in a dynamic steady state means that the source that contributes to this amino acid pool is always equal to pathways utilizing this amino acid pool here is a question that has asked in the 2020 past paper of pu the question is discuss briefly the sources and fates of amino acid pool the amino acid pool is having three different sources the major source are the dietary proteins the dietary proteins are the proteins that we take during the diet when the digestion of dietary proteins occurs then free amino acids are absorbed into the blood so this is the major source of amino acid pool the second are the body proteins degradation when the proteins present in body are degraded or break down free amino acids are produced these free amino acids are also the source of this amino acid pool and the third one is synthesis of non essential amino acid the non essential amino acids are synthesized in the body and sent to blood so these three are the major sources of amino acid pool now we see that what are the fates of this amino acid pool this amino acid pool may either use for the synthesis of new body proteins <clears throat> or may it also be used for the biosynthesis of non protein nitrogenous compounds that includes porphyrin creatine hormones neurotransmitters purine pyrimidine niacin and thyroxine or these amino acids may either catabolized and form 
यूरिया दमाइनो एसिड कैटाबोलिज्म और डिग्रेडेशन कंसिस्ट ऑफ टू पार्ट द कैटाबोलिज्म ऑफ अमाइनो ग्रुप बाय द कैटाबोलिज्म ऑफ अमाइनो ग्रुप यूरिया इज फॉर्म एंड फ्रॉम द कार्बन स्केलेटन ऑफ अमाइनो एसिड्स आइदर ग्लूकोस और आइदर किटोन बॉडीज आर फॉर्म सो दिस इज दीज आर दोर्सिस एंड फेड्स ऑफ अमाइनो एसिड पूल थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो